The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing, rejoice, daughter of Zion, for now I am coming to live among you, Yahweh declares. And on that day many nations will be converted to Yahweh. Yes, they will become His people, and they will live among you. Then you will know that Yahweh Sabaoth has sent me to you. Yahweh will take possession of Judah, His portion in the Holy Land, and again make Jerusalem His choice. Let all people be silent before Yahweh, now that He is stirring from His holy dwelling. And our response is from Judith, chapter 13. Uzziah then said to Judith, May you be blessed, my daughter, by God Most High, beyond all women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God, creator of heaven and earth, who guided you to cut off the head of the leader of our enemies. The trust which you have shown will not pass from human hearts as they commemorate the power of God forevermore. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, you who enjoy God's favor. The Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Look, you are to conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, but how can this come about, since I have no knowledge of man? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy, and will be called Son of God. And I tell you this too, your cousin Elizabeth also, in her old age, has conceived a son. And she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. Mary said, You see before you the Lord's servant. Let it happen to me as you have said. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you.